good morning, good morning, good morning. Ooh, I have been up since the butt booty crack of dawn, guys. Um, I was up before the sun came up this morning. Uh, getting everything situated and uh, getting on the road. I've been on the road now for a couple hours. I am headed to Alabama. Cruising down 40 right now. I think I still got four hours and about four hours left. It's about a seven and a half, eight hour trip plus stops with uh, gas and stuff like that. So probably really about nine hours. But I'm making good time, making progress. I think I'm gonna need to get uh, my tires rotated before I come back though. My truck is uh, bouncing a little bit more than usual uh, on this trip. So I ain't breaking no speed barriers or nothing like that for sure. Just going to speed limit and I'm in no hurry. That's why I left early this morning. That way I don't have to be in a hurry. And cruising along, enjoying the view. And uh, yeah, just having a good time. I did officially pretty much take the week off uh, for the most part. I uh, did get a little bit of stuff done, but I did do a lot of relaxing this week and a lot of sleeping. And uh, it means it's Labor Day weekend. I'm gonna go have fun this weekend and then I'm getting back to the mountain and I am going to get after it. Uh, I got a uh, big push to do before winter. Uh, I've got quite a few projects I need to finish up. And then I know uh, Mike and Lisa are going to want to take that building down here soon in the next couple of weeks. So I also got to uh, be available for that as well. Um, I don't really know what their plan is. I mean, the ball's in their court at this point. Uh, I told Mike, just give me a little bit of a notice so I know. And uh, make sure that I'm available when they are ready to take it down and get it moved to the landing so that'll be coming up as well uh, but I need to get the tiny house finished I need to get the pump house insulated I need to get a hold of somebody to come and run the gas lines and put the propane tank in and then I need to install all the stuff that goes along with the gas like I need to get the uh, conversion kit for the dryer it's set for natural gas right now. I need to convert it to propane. Uh, I need to install the thermostat heater, uh, blue flame heater that I have for the tiny house. And then also start working on the outdoor kitchen and uh, with the burners and all of that stuff too. And I also got to get it plumbed up to the hot water heater and all of that. So got a lot to do. And then I still need to do the soffit and the fascia and the corners and stuff for the uh, outside as well right along with building the outdoor kitchen so there's still a lot of work to do on the tiny house and in the tiny house that's not counting the trim and doing the vanity and all that other stuff in the bathroom so uh it's a, it's a pretty long laundry list to say the least <laughs> you get it laundry uh y'all can see in the back that we got some beautiful fields and some beautiful skies going on. I would flip y'all around and I might try it here before it's over with but my windshield is dirty and I've already just about used all of the fluid that I have in my cleaner thing and it didn't clean it that well. I think the inside's dirty too. Might need to get some Windex. But I hope everybody is having a great uh, Labor Day weekend. I hope y'all are spending it with friends and family. Oh wow, it looks like it's about to rain. Y'all hear it? You hear the little tit 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 tit. Of course, as soon as I start recording, uh, rain drops on the windshield. But I ain't mad at it. It knock all the dust off my truck. I just I did clean my truck last week, so my truck's not horrible shape right now. But uh, definitely dusty from the road. So so a little sprinkle, a little shower won't hurt nothing. That and uh. Uh, Johnny Law is out today guys for Labor Day weekend it seems like about every 30 minutes my phone tells me speed trap ahead speed trap ahead I know one day uh, what this summer did do is uh, well I got tan this summer 
I was looking at myself here in the camera and I am definitely tanned up for the summer. I guess that'll happen when you spend your whole summer working in 100 plus degree temperatures all summer. It's a, it's a byproduct. You get a little tan action going. People pay good money for a tan like this. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited uh, for this little getaway. Um, it'll be my last little break before winter for sure. We are talking about maybe trying to get together and do a, a fishing trip with the fellas uh, before it gets too cold. Do a little trout fishing with old Ridge Life, Country Road Cure, Simple Life for Claim, Drifting Dreamers, and uh, Drew or and anybody else that wants to go um, in the area or whatever, if they can make it available. Tim claims to know the spot to go get the trout and knows the tricks to do it. And I know nothing about trout fishing so I'm excited to learn and I do like eating trout so it'd be nice to kind of go on a little on a little three uh, probably about three day probably a little three day a little excursion to go get a little fishing going uh, gas prices ain't too bad they're averaging about 329 uh, a gallon from what I've seen since I've been on the road which is a lot better than uh, uh, over there at the house. And the house is 359 right now, so not too bad. And I'm not going too far away. Um, it's a little bit further than a day trip. I'll be there today, and I'll be coming back Monday evening. Um, I might stop off in Tennessee or maybe even Mississippi. I ain't talked to them in Mississippi yet or not. Depending on how late I leave and what everybody's got going on. Tim already said I could stop by and uh, stay the night with him on the way through. And I might. Depending on how tired I am. Depending on how long this weekend is. Uh, I've never been to this part of Alabama. So uh, I've drove through it. But I've never hung out there. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to kind of check out somewhere new and see what they got going on. And uh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a good time. Plus, I got family in the area, so win-win. Um, I like to explore new places. It's, uh, it's why I like going on adventures, guys. I like seeing new things, putting myself out there, trying new things and all that. And, uh, I don't know what all this weekend's got in store yet, but uh, I assure you there's going to be an adventure. I'll probably film it. Um, I don't know how much filming I'm going to do. Um, typically, whenever I'm with family, I get sidetracked and don't really turn the camera on that much. But I do have all my gear with me. And uh, I'll probably film a little bit of it, do a little vlog action. And uh, I don't know about uh, if this will be the last keeping it real for the weekend or not. And I also don't know if I will be live Monday night or not. It depends on where I'm at. If I have good service and I can do it driving live, I might do it driving live when I come on Homestead. Uh, but if I'm over there at Tim's, I'll definitely go live. So it really depends on where I'm at um, at the time that I'm supposed to go live. So we will see. I, I, that's too far ahead for me right now. My plan is to not have a real plan. Those are the best little getaways is when you don't have a set plan. My set plan is get into the area with my family and then uh, see what happens. And uh, It's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let me get past these little semis here. Flip y'all around in a minute. Show y'all some views. See if it'll work. See how bad my windshield is. Also, in the comments, let me know how bad my phone's moving around with my truck vibrating like that is. Definitely uh, it is worse than usual. I did just get an oil change last week. And, uh, and I knew it was getting to the point I needed to rotate my tires. But this definitely uh, shows that I don't go that fast. Over there in my area, I never hit, you know, speeds of 70, 75 miles per hour and stuff like that driving around in my local area. So, and that's kind of whenever it seems to kick in about 70 miles per hour, it starts vibrating pretty decent from about 
70 to 80. By 80, it smooths out a little bit. But if I need my tires rotated, I'm not going to be riding at 80 that much unless I'm trying to get past somebody. Like right now, I'm trying to get past these semis, which y'all can see in the background. As soon as I get in front of this one, I will get over lanes and I'll flip y'all around and let y'all see the little hill in front of me. I will say the views are cool out here with the fields and stuff, but it ain't nothing like home for sure. And I got this car riding my butt like I'm going slow and I ain't even really going slow right now. Oh yeah. Let me move that out of the way. I guess it ain't too bad. Look at those clouds though, guys. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I did put a video out yesterday on Come On Homestead. Um, good video. Yeah, it's not performing that great, but uh, I liked it. It was a good video. If you haven't checked that out, go over there and check that out. Uh, I did a video on here yesterday talking about the 15 and 35,000, and I got a whole bunch of congratulations and stuff. I greatly appreciate that, and congratulations to you guys too, because y'all are just as big a part of it as I am. Without y'all, we can't hit those kind of numbers, guys. My job is to put the content out and keep you guys entertained. And uh, hopefully uh, try to be a positive influence in your life. And uh, y'all's job is to watch and subscribe and hit the notification bells. And uh, keep that algorithm algorithm. And, uh, and we all grow together. And uh, we get to reach more people. And I really like reaching people on this one because, you know, the message, right? It's all about, you know, positive thoughts. It's about, you know, striving to reach your goals, whatever those goals might be, and, uh, and doing something nice for people, uh, you know? Do something for somebody else, and uh, don't be all about yourself. I think there's way too much of that in the world where everybody's worried about them. and you got to worry about yourself to a degree you know but at the same time you get a lot more whenever you worry about everybody else is uh, better uh, being better off and stuff without getting too much into their business trying to run and control it because there is a fine line there of uh, wishing the best for people and then trying to get too involved and trying to control every aspect of their life you also got to let people uh, kind of do their things because one thing that I have learned over the years unfortunately is that you can't help somebody that don't want to help their self and uh, it will cause you a lot of heartache in the, in the middle of trying to do that so the best thing you can do is try to be positive do little things here and there but uh, at the end of the day it's up to the people to uh, take that step uh, to better themselves so that's what I try to do. I try to put positivity in the world and hope that positivity comes back. Lord knows I got my uh, fair share of bad luck, to say the least. And uh, I've definitely had quite a bit happen in my life or whatever that could cause me to have an excuse to go the wrong direction. But I choose positivity. And I choose to be a glass half full type person. And I'm always going to be. And uh, there's always negative in every situation and there's positive in every situation it really just depends on what part you want to focus on and I have found over the years that you get a lot more out of focusing on the positive than the negative and uh, I am human every once in a while that negative creeps in but it doesn't last long because uh, as soon as I see it creeping in I do everything that I can to kind of change my mindset on it and uh, bring the positivity back. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this one. It's about 14 and a half minutes. Not too bad for a little road trip. Keeping it real. I hope everybody takes a little bit of time for themselves this uh, weekend on Labor Day. I hope y'all eat some good groceries. I hope y'all do something nice for somebody this weekend as well. And just because it's Labor Day weekend, guys, and you're taking some time to have a little bit of fun doesn't mean that you can't take a step closer to those goals. Time is precious, guys. Time is precious. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. 
And until we see each other again, come on. Hey.